Hey, welcome to Attack the Stack. If you like that, try this. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is an action adventure game developed by From Software and published by Activision. The game takes place in the Sengoku period in Japan and follows the shinobi known as Wolf as he attempts to take revenge on a samurai clan who attacked him and kidnapped his lord. Gameplay is focused on stealth, exploration, and combat, with a particular emphasis on boss battles. Although most of the game takes place in fictional areas, some areas are inspired by real-world buildings and locations in Japan. The game also makes strong references to Buddhist mythology and philosophy. While creating the game, director Hidetaka Miyazaki looked to series such as The Mysterious Murasame Castle and Tenchu for inspiration. Sekiro received universal acclaim from critics. Praise was directed toward its gameplay and setting. It was also nominated for and won several awards and accolades, including Game of the Year. Besides both games being inspired by the Souls series of games, the biggest similarity here is the combat system. Both games have an emphasis on wearing the opponent down before delivering a decisive blow. Just keep in mind that this game is way, way, way harder than Fallen Order. I realized my father was right. Rise of the Tomb Raider is an action-adventure game developed by Crystal Dynamics. It is the sequel to the Tomb Raider reboot and the 11th entry in the Tomb Raider series. Its story follows Laura Croft as she ventures into Siberia in search of the legendary city of Kitez while battling the paramilitary organization Trinity, which intends to uncover the city's promise of immortality. Laura must traverse the environment and combat enemies with firearms and stealth as she explores semi-open hubs. In these hubs, she can raid challenge tombs to unlock new rewards, complete side missions, and scavenge for resources sources, which can be used to craft useful materials. Based on feedback from the reboot, the game features a reduced number of quick time events and introduces more puzzles and challenge tombs. The team traveled to several locations in Turkey, including Cappadocia, Istanbul, and Ephesus, to design Kitez. Powered by the Foundation engine, the game was also developed by Eidos Montreal and Nix's software. The game was praised, with critics liking its graphics, gameplay, and characterization. The Surge 2 is an action role-playing game developed by Deck 13 Interactive and published by Focus Home Interactive. The game features a character creator which allows players to customize the appearances and gender of their player avatar. Players can utilize a variety of melee weapons to defeat enemies whose limbs can be targeted and removed individually. Players can also dodge and parry attacks, which requires players to properly angulate their equipped weapon. Combat drones and consumables such as biosensors can also be deployed. When players kill or dismember their opponents, they can collect and equip the weapons, armor enhancements, or tech left by them. Jericho City, the game's setting, offers alternate paths which players can explore freely. In the game, players will meet different non-playable characters and have to make different choices which will affect the game's world and story. Players can also leave graffiti messages in their game's world for other players to see. The Surge 2 and Fallen Order are two of the few sci-fi souls likes out there, so check this one out. God of War is an action-adventure game developed by Santa Monica Studio and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. It is the 8th installment in the God of War series, the 8th chronologically, and the sequel to God of War 3. Unlike previous games, which were loosely based on Greek mythology, this installment is rooted in Norse mythology, with the majority of it set in ancient Norway in the realm of Midgard. For the first time in the series, there are two protagonists, Kratos, the former Greek God of War who remains the only playable character, and his young son, Atreus. Following the death of Kratos' second wife and Atreus' mother, they journey to fulfill her request that her ashes be spread at the highest peak of the Nine Realms. Kratos keeps his troubled past a secret from Atreus, who is unaware of his divine nature. Along their journey, they encounter monsters and gods of the Norse world. Described by creative director Cory Barlog as a reimagining of the franchise, a major gameplay change is that Kratos makes prominent use of a magical battle axe instead of his signature double-chained blades. God of War also uses an over-the-shoulder free camera with the game in one shot. 
as opposed to the fixed cinematic camera of the previous entries. This was the first time a three-dimensional AAA game utilized a one-shot camera. The game also includes role-playing game elements, and Kratos' son Atreus provides assistance in combat. God of War received universal acclaim for its narrative, world design, art direction, music, graphics, characters, and combat system. And I'm probably missing something else it was praised for. Many reviewers felt it had successfully revitalized the series without losing the core identity of its predecessors. It has been hailed as one of the best video games ever made, receiving a number of perfect review scores, tying it with the original God of War as the highest rated game in the series. Among other awards and nominations, God of War was awarded Game of the Year by numerous media outlets and award shows. This is the story of a Lombax named Ratchet and his robot friend Clank and the muscular, irresistibly handsome hero who helped them save the galaxy. Ratchet and Clank is a platform game developed by Insomniac Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. It is a reimagining of the first game in the series, as well as being based on the film of the same name by Rainmaker Entertainment and Blockade Entertainment. The main playable character is Ratchet, but Clank is playable in several portions of the game. As Ratchet, the player navigates diverse environments, defeating enemies with an array of different weapons and gadgets, and traversing obstacles. Clank is attached to Ratchet like a backpack, performing several supplementary gameplay functions. Sounding familiar? Clank's gameplay sections are drastically different, even though the premise of navigating environments and the controls remain the same. Clank's gameplay sections mostly revolve around solving environmental puzzles rather than defeating enemies. Environments are presented in a somewhat linear manner, although multiple paths are available for the player. The player progresses through the story by traveling from planet to planet. New planets are unlocked once story objectives on previous planets have been completed. Sound familiar as well? Ratchet and Clank received positive reviews upon release, with critics particularly praising the overall gameplay, visuals, weapons, world design, and and controls. Yet, yeah, this game has a lot more in common with Fallen Order than I think most people realize, and it was shamefully overlooked by too many players, so go check this one out. You'll thank me later, trust me. Are you here to play Executioner? They should have sent all four of you. Darksiders is a hack and slash action adventure game developed by Vigil Games and published by THQ. The game's inspiration is from the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, with the player taking the role of the Horseman War. The world is split into separate locations with many areas initially inaccessible until later in the game. The center of the world, the Scalding Gallo, functions as a hub where war is given new objectives and paths to unlock new areas, many of which require the use of newly gained abilities to progress. Although war is initially limited to the use of his two-handed signature sword, Chaos Eater, he eventually obtains obtains other weapons throughout the course of the game. Weapons have different combinations of attacks that can be obtained throughout the game. Along with combos, players are encouraged to use countering moves, blocks, and swift dodging. Projectile weapons such as a revolver and a boomerang style throwing blade can also be used. Along with weapon based attacks, war can also use an array of magic based attacks, known as wrath powers, that are both offensive and defensive in nature. When enemies are near defeat, war can perform an elaborate and violent finishing move, instantly killing them. Upon defeat, some enemies expel souls that provide different benefits. Green souls that fill the health bar, yellow souls that fill the wrath meter, and blue souls that are the game's form of currency. We have been deserted by God. Creatures from the void come to claim the souls of men. Castlevania Lords of Shadow is an action-adventure game developed by Mercury Steam and Kojima Productions, published by Konami. The game is a reboot of the Castlevania series. Set in Southern Europe during the Middle Ages, the story focuses on Gabriel Belmont and his quest to defeat a malevolent order known as the Lords of Shadow and resurrect his wife. The player controls Gabriel in 3D environments and he uses melee skills to defeat enemies and solve puzzles to move throughout the game. The game was originally announced as Lords of Shadow with no connection to the Castlevania series mentioned. This was done to keep their plans to radically change the direction of the Castlevania mythos a secret and to prevent the announcement of the game from upstaging another series release. Hideo Kojima, creator of the Metal Gear series, helped produce the title. The music was composed by Spanish composer Oscar Arajo, who was acclaimed for his work on the game. The game received positive reviews from video game publications and it was praised for the new elements it provided to the franchise. I'm just a guy with a lightsaber and a few questions. Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is a first and third person action game in the Star Wars Jedi Knight series. It was originally developed by Raven Software for Windows and OS X and Vicarious Visions for consoles. It was published by Aspire on OS X and LucasArts on all other platforms. Powered by the id Tech 3 engine, the game primarily revolves around ranged and melee combat, with the player capable of wielding classic Star Wars weapons such as blasters, lightsabers, and force powers. The story-driven single-player campaign is set in the Star Wars Expanded Universe two years after the events of the Mysteries of the Sith. 
The plot follows Kyle Katarn as he fights against the Dark Jedi Dasan and his followers. The game was critically well received on all platforms. You were weak when I found you. Now your hatred has become your strength. Star Wars The Force Unleashed is an action-adventure game. The project bridges the first two Star Wars trilogies, acting as an origin story for both the United Rebel Alliance and the Galactic Civil War depicted in the original trilogy. The game introduces a new protagonist, Starkiller, as Darth Vader's secret apprentice who is tasked with hunting down Jedi while killing Rebels and Imperials alike in order to hide his existence from the Emperor, but soon starts to slowly redeem himself to the light side of the Force. Reviews of The Force Unleashed praised its compelling story, robust physics, impressive art, and soundtrack. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic is a role-playing game set in the Star Wars universe, developed by Bioware and published by LucasArts. The story of Knights of the Old Republic takes place almost 4,000 years before the formation of the Galactic Empire, where Darth Malak, a Dark Lord of the Sith, has unleashed a Sith Armada against the Republic. The player character, as a Jedi, must venture to different planets in the galaxy to defeat Malak. Players choose from three character classes, Scout, Soldier, or Scoundrel and customize their characters at the beginning of the game, and engage in round-based combat against enemies. Through interacting with other characters and making plot decisions, players can earn light side and dark side points, and the alignment system will determine whether the player's character aligns with the light or dark side of the force. The game was directed by Casey Hudson, designed by James Olin, and written by Drew Carpetian. LucasArts proposed developing a game tied to Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones, or a game set thousands of years before the prequels. The team chose the latter as they thought they would have more creative freedom. The game received critical acclaim upon release, with critics applauding the game's characters, story, and sound. It was nominated for numerous awards and is considered one of the best video games ever made. If you haven't been a fan of the games Bioware has been making lately, I highly recommend going back to check this one out to experience a Bioware game when they were at their peak. If you liked the video or it helped you out, click the thumbs up button below. It really helps us out. If you think it could help others, share it. Of course, subscribe for more content like this and more. And if you have anything to add to our list, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching and keep attacking.